bit towards the end. So Netflix phoned me in November and they said, listen, we have perfect data of what viewers are doing. And what viewers are doing is, is watching lots of TV, stretches of TV, an entire season in a single week. Uh, and that's good for us, clearly. Um, but what strikes us as odd and maybe regrettable is the fact that they insist on calling it binge viewing. Uh, and they say, you know, you take the metaphor seriously and it's kind of unattractive. It makes the viewer seem appetitive and reckless and un unattractive, uh, you know, as if people are kind of covered in junk food, <laughs> sprawled, on their, <laughs> sprawled on their sofa watching TV in a mindless kind of way. And listen, if that's what you go in as the anthropologist, do your ethnography. If that's what's happening, that's what's happening. Um, but we suspect there's some something else going on, and so please would you tell us what it is and suggest, you know, if this isn't the perfect metaphor, what's a better metaphor? So the first finding was clear. The people who were binging weren't watching the Dukes of Hazard, <laughs> right? They weren't watching that, you know, most appalling moment of American culture. They were watching a series of other shows that were very different in, in what they attempted, uh, and what they, what they brought to the screen, what they brought to the life of the viewer. You'll recognize these as, uh, as the accomplishments of cable TV uh, recently and uh, you know, stunning accomplishments, complexity and richness and TV going places that TV had never, had never gone before. So as they say, these people who are binging aren't binging on the junk food of TV. They're, they're, they're more, as I finally came to think of it, they're not binging, they're feasting. They're feasting on, on really good TV. And it's not just that we have like six or seven glorious shows you know, that, that raise the standard. Uh, all the shows are dramatically better than, than they used to be. And even reality TV, which is sometimes sneered at, turns out to be rich and interesting and, and really an attempt on the part of television to give up some of its control over the narrative line and just say, we're going to sort of unleash these forces and, and see what happens. So it's right across the board, this world of TV. Uh, TV got better from, from one side to the other, which means Mr. Newton Minow was wrong. This is the guy appointed by Kennedy as the chair of the uh, uh, FCC in 1960. Uh, Kennedy said, listen, will you have a look at TV and tell me what you see there? And uh, Minow, who turns out to have been an opera fan, took along, watched a lot of TV and came back with this famous phrase. He said, TV is a wasteland from which nothing ever good can come. That wherever TV touches American culture, it will impoverish American culture. Well, guess what? Minow was wrong. I mean, TV is now uh, extraordinarily good. And, uh, and so, you know, I have to say, we're still haunted by these ideas that watching TV is a kind of guilty secret, that we're indulging ourselves in something that's not worthy of us, which is, I think, is effectively where that binging metaphor comes from. It's a way of sort of us apologizing for the fact that we're watching something our culture tells is bad. So you're watching our culture trying to catch up to the fact that, that TV got, got better.